show you the semi-finished product of the 800 watts of rich solar panels on the roof running our AC200P hooked to our transfer switch we showed you in a video earlier we got four circuits that we have uh, isolated for emergencies to keep our refrigerators running give us some lights and maybe a little entertainment in a microwave that way we can cook in the event of emergency so we got the system up and running we got the 800 solar panels or excuse me 800 watts of solar panels up on the roof and we got 200 watts of echo worthy solar panels up on the roof and basically we run them in two strings that's what we have right here now not completely finished yet so we have to look over some of our wiring but basically we got a switch box in here with two breakers we have two separate strands running in this is the 200 watt strand this is the 800 watt strand and it's going into the AC 200P the 200 watt strand is going into the EB150 and we can actually use that right now to also hook into the uh, EB70 if we wanted to or we can chain them together and basically use one of our power stations to charge the other power station from the solar on the roof might not be as efficient as hooking it directly but you can do that and basically just wanted to run through there again over here is our transfer switch and we have been running our refrigerator for the last week non-stop with the solar on the roof with no issues whatsoever it'll get down into about 20 to between 10 and 20 percent the ac 200p and then it'll be back up to 100 percent by midday back to about you know 85 90 when the sun goes down and it'll get through the night and, and we just start the process over so i'm going to go ahead and push this back now and kind of show you how our setup looks my wife don't like a mess so that's why we got to keep this rolling cart in our pantry room covering up all this stuff but as you can see it's easy to get to and we will be cleaning that up back there so it looks a little bit better but right here you can see we got our ac 200p it's hooked to solar 100 percent of the time and right now we've had a a cloudy day we're sitting at 88 percent and pulling in about 67 watts our refrigerator is currently running off of it and basically if we want now our EV150 is charged up all the way but all we have to do is plug this in right here and see the light come on it's a hundred percent charged so it's not going to to do anything so if I want I can basically just take this hook it into the EV70 and it'll start charging it might not be him pulling about 11 watts right now but we we've had some storms today the sun's been in and out um, and the EV70 really is is pretty well topped off so it's not pulling a whole lot right now uh, 15 watts is what I'm showing coming in but that's the versatility of the system as we have two separate strands of solar panels I will be as I've told you in other videos we got a total of 600 watts of echo worthy solar panels right now i just have two i got to get a couple more rails and then i can get those solar panels on the roof and those will be dedicated for here and basically as you can see here i also can charge eb70 from here directly from the uh, 12 volt port of the eb150 so there's a lot of versatility here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we did the solar on the roof kind of run through all that and um, we'll show you some of the process and then I'm also going to show you through the week um, the past week of, of how this has been operating so basically we'll give all that to you in this video and uh, just stay tuned keep watching we'll show you how we did the solar on the roof. all right starting our rails here basically got one set it's got a couple blocks of wood four inches wide um <clears throat> use silicone screwed them into the ceiling joists and silicone to round them all right got the second rail set up i have 1400 watts of solar 
and these rails is not going to hold them all so i'll end up adding one more rail on the other side over there but uh, this will get most of the solar panels on the roof oh i got some rich solars i got 800 watts of those and those are my primaries i'm trying to get on right now All right, guys, let's show you what we got up here. We got uh, the 200 watts of uh, Echo Worthy's fixed. They're on the very end. I just went ahead and hooked them in parallel because I'm gonna have two strands. I'm eventually gonna add more rail so I can get um, six, the, the other four up here. So right now I just got the two, so a total of 200 watts and I'm running that into the EB150. And I've got my rich solars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred watts. These four in series, these four in series, and they come out to make a series parallel connection. The two Echo Worthies, like I say, those are 200 watts, and they're just in parallel right now. I could have put them in series, but it's here or there right now because I'm going to add two more on each on each side for a total of 600 300 will be in series 300 will be in series and then they'll make a series parallel connection all right so there is a look at the semi-finished product all right installing the switch box for the solar panels these two wires go to 800 watts of solar these two right now are just going to 400 or excuse me 200 watts of solar I'm gonna have a breaker on each one so I can switch them on and off. And uh, we're gonna get them wired up right now. Okay, I wanted to give you a look at the box that we put in. Gonna clean this up a little bit. Eventually gonna knock this out and put a box down here for the MC4 connectors to come out. Um, this is the 200 watt breaker. This is the 800 watt breaker here. So basically I can turn the solar on and off with those two. And we do have some type of protection in an overcurrent situation. So that's what we're looking like. We got a cover for this box. Again, I will run wires down through this hole into the wall. And we're gonna put a box down here for the MC4s to come out. So that's how we're running it so we have complete control of the solar on the roof we can turn it off and on and we can mix and match but right now we're going to leave it like this and it's working good yeah, i want to show you one of the ways i want to use that 600 watts of solar once i get it all up there but right now we just got the 200 we're getting 101 watts in right now this time of the day and as you can see i'm going to take the DC output over here to the EB70 and you can see if we are getting you know three to four hundred watts from the solar off the 600 we can charge the other power stations here from the EB150 and I'm just using the 12 volt, it'll charge a little slower. I can even use the uh, 115 if I want to. It's not doing anything right now because the EB70 is topped off, so it just, just topped it off. And now we're just going back to charging the EB150. So it's a nice little setup, kind of the way I was hoping it would work because I can use this too to plug in the um, <clears throat> AC 200P in the evening if I start to get low on uh, uh, power and in the next morning when the sun kicks in this will just charge right back up so we're going to try that and see how it works but right now 
that's just a little example of, of one ways you can use that 200 watts uh, eventually will be 600 watts going into this unit to keep all of these topped off and extend their battery life so basically I'm using this EB150 as a spare 15 watt hour battery and it basically will turn my AC200 into over let's see 2000 uh, 3500 watt hours and basically I don't really use these other than, or I let me correct myself I, I use these daily but I don't use these for powering stuff in the home these are uh, what I take uh, to work what I take uh, camping what I take uh, when we go to the grocery store to run the Bouge RV right there so it also we use it to charge our um, batteries we got Milwaukee's DeWalt's uh, still so we're, we use these small ones to do things like that and basically this is just a big battery right now and uh, it, it's doing right now what we intended to do I wanted to close this video out by showing you um, the performance of the AC 200p running our refrigerator uh, as I showed you the transfer switch before we have that breaker switched on so it's running our refrigerator and has been for the last uh, little over nine days now if we look at our kilowatt meter it is showing 225 hours so that equates to this about 9.3 days and it's 16.11 kilowatt hours that our refrigerator is pulled from this ac 200p now if you go into uh, the blue eddy just looking at our PV, you can see the generation energy is uh, 20.74 kilowatt hours. So, the difference of about 4 kilowatt hours, and we're at about 78%. Um, it been, it's been going, you know, like I said, down to 10 to 20%, and back up to 100 um, during the day. So it's been doing a really good job. It's in the evening time right now, so obviously we're not pulling anything in from the solar. But uh, we do have our EB150 over here. And I did just want to show you real quick one of the ways that we can use this. Now if I turn my AC on, it's going to start charging the AC200P. And you can see that the, the watts are going up. 456, the refrigerator just kicked on. So we can see that as well. But anyway, you can see that the, the power from the EB150 can be transferred over and you can extend your battery life on the AC200P. Now I haven't been doing that. I've just been running straight AC200P, but I did want to show you that you can do that. And, you know, we're pulling about 509 watts from EB150 and bringing in about 456 to AC200P. And the refrigerator uh, cycled back down, but uh, that's one way to do it. And then if I turn off the EB150, you'll see that those watts will go down. But 77% is plenty enough to get me through the night. I just wanted to show that to you. Um, that's one of the ways that uh, I'm wanting to use the EB150 as, a, as an extra battery, as I stated earlier in the video. Um, I hope this has been enjoyable to you. I hope you've uh, uh, learned something. Um, I'm learning every day. If you like the video, I ask that you will subscribe and, and like the video. Hit that notification button if you want to see more content because we're trying to get a video out at least... Uh, uh, once every week to two weeks. I appreciate your viewership and um, just stay tuned to the channel because we have some more stuff coming that I think you'll be interested in. Have a good day. Okay, I wanted to get this on camera. We're hitting about 700, over 700 watts and the max on this is 700. So. The 800 watts of solar is doing its job. 
and now it's dropped back down because the sun went by in the cloud. But when we have a good sun, you can max it out.